So I'm gonna start off with the NYX First Base Primer Spray and just prep and prime my face for that. And then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer and apply that all over my face. And then next I'm gonna go in with my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Golden and Caramel. I'm gonna do both of the foundations at the same time. And then apply those with my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. And then I'm just gonna apply a little more where I need a little bit more coverage at. And as you can see, my eyebrows are already done. I just want to go ahead and skip those before I started doing my face. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers, but first I'm gonna use the Dark Cocoa shade as my cream contour. I'm gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Then I'm going to go and conceal and highlight with the shades Medium Tawny and Light Medium Beige. And then to set all that down, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the Banana Shade. I'm going to put that on my Beauty, bl Beauty Blender plate to get enough product out and onto my sponge and then put that onto my face. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in the tan shade with my Echo Tools Full Powder Brush. Next for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade 740 Bikini Contest. I'm gonna take it on this Real Techniques brush. I think this is the Multitasker one. And then for blush, I'm gonna take my Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Baby Love, that's a tongue twister, and take it on this BH Cosmetics number two brush, I believe. 
and then just blend out all of that with my MUA stippling brush. And then next, we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm gonna take my Morphe 25A palette, the Copper Spice, and also my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, Modern Renaissance. I'm gonna go in with this shade first and put it into my transition, my crease as my transition shade. This BH Cosmetics brush is becoming my absolute favorite, other than the Morphe brush. But this one works really, really well. Next, on the Morphe brush, I'm going to take that kind of red copper shade and apply that into my crease in the same place that I placed the first transition shade. Next, I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to take this shade Buon Fresco on this BH Cosmetics brush and just fluff that into the outer V and then flick it into the center part of my lid. Next I'm going to go into the shade Red Ochre and the shade Love Letter and just place that into my crease just to deepen it up and these two colors together are really really pretty. I'm gonna go back into the Morphe 25A palette and just take those two shades and just fluff out the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E22 brush and take the black just to start creating my smoky eye look. And then I'm just gonna keep on touching it up until I get the darkness that I want. I'm pretty positive that I sprayed this Ulta large eyeshadow brush with my NYX First Base Primer Spray just to get more color payoff, but this is the shade Primavera, and I love it. It's a nice shimmer, like, it's not exactly a champagne gold, but it's a nice gold. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Vermeer and just add it on top of Primavera, just to get it more of a bing. Then go back into the Morphe palette and just deepen up that black. And then I'm going to go into the lower lashes and I'm going to take my Morphe M432 brush and just align my lower lash line to start smoking it out. And then I'm going to take my It Cosmetics number 124 brush and take the shade Red Ochre and smoke it out a little more and also the shade Love Letter and just repeat that process over and over again. And then I'm going to go back into the Morphe M432 brush and add a little bit of black to the outer corner to connect it with the top part of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take an e.l.f. blending eye brush and take those two brown shades and just soften up the lower lashes because I don't want anything too harsh. And now that the eyes are done, I put on some false lashes. I believe these are the Ardell Faux Mink ones. And then I just applied some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on the bottom. And I went into the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I'm just applying Forever Young with this Ulta highlighter brush. I wasn't a big fan of it, but now I am because it gives you more of a natural, like highlighted glowy look. And then just to lock my brows and I'm taking my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for my lips, I'm taking my Jordana Sweet Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cinnamon Toast. I know it's a cinnamon shade, I'll have it linked below. And it's a nice, nice, ready, mauve shade, and I really, really like it. And I'm just going to set my face with my NYX Matte Finish Spray, and then that concludes this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that little bell, and also give this video a thumbs up. And I love you guys. Bye.